In this film, we shall study how sounds are produced and the principal auditory differences of sound. To begin with, what is involved in producing sound? To help answer this question, we experiment first with a tuning fork. When the fork is struck, its prongs begin to vibrate. These vibrations set up invisible waves in the surrounding air. We can picture these waves as animated drawings. Striking the prongs distorts them. Like other solid objects, these prongs resist distortion. They spring back and forth, thus producing new distortions. Each movement or vibration sets up new disturbances, or sound wave impulses. These continue as long as the prongs are in motion. The speed with which sound waves move depends upon the medium through which they pass. We will assume that these waves are being transmitted by air molecules. Every time the prongs move apart, they push against the adjacent air. In turn, this movement affects the air further on. In this segment of the wave, we can see that some molecules are pushed relatively close together. These represent condensations of air. Each time the prongs spring inward, a partial vacuum forms in their vicinity. Air molecules nearby move into this vacuum, leaving a rarefied zone behind. Thus, there are alternate zones of condensation and rarefaction of the air. The number of times a given molecule moves back and forth in one second is the frequency of the wave. In one complete vibration, indicated here by the bracket, sound travels a distance of one wavelength. The velocity of any sound wave equals its wavelength times its frequency. <laughs> 